Hello developers, welcome to Mining Devs where we build future for blockchain developers. In this video, we'll discuss some of the prerequisites that you need as a developer to get started building your own smart contracts. Now, what matters is that, uh, you know, you need to choose a chain where you need to get started uh, towards building smart contracts. If it is Algorand, you might need Python. If it is Solana, you might need Rust. Uh, if you if you if it is uh, near you might need rust again right and if a lot of other chains they use different different uh, languages like if you are start uh, if you are starting towards Tron you might need JavaScript if you are trying to build a contract on Ethereum you need Solidity now Solidity has a framework which is very very similar to JavaScript right so right now what we'll try for you is we'll try to consolidate what all uh, languages you need what all frameworks that you'll need to get started uh, towards building your own decentralized application the first thing that you'll need is knowledge in web development if you have worked in web development or android development you must be familiar with html css jquery javascript right primarily javascript and if you are familiar with frameworks such as react.js node.js it would be very easy for you to get started in uh, towards building your own decentralized applications now why is this essential the sole reason that you need web development is because uh, in in web3 the things that happen happen in backend you need a framework you need a ui to display things you need your backend so that you can interact with your contracts right this forms the necessity of moving towards web development. So this is the first thing that you'll need, uh, knowledge of frameworks such as React.js, Node.js, proficiency in JavaScript, and as well as some tutorials on uh, HTML, CSS, and so on and so forth. We have some content available on miningdevs.com. Definitely go there, check it out, and try and be proficient in, uh, in these languages. The second thing that you'll need is, is proficiency in any any one language such as Java, Python, C++, any object oriented programming. If you are already proficient in any of these languages, I suggest you start developing smart contracts right away. In fact, because this is all that you'll need. If you're looking for development on Ethereum, the next thing that you'll need is Solidity. Now Solidity has a framework which is very similar to JavaScript. So if you're familiar with JavaScript, it would be very easy for you to uh, start learning Solidity. Now Solidity is something that is very specific to Ethereum. All the EVM compatible chains, they use Solidity. Like if, even if you're building something on Binance, Solidity would be useful to you. If you're trying to build something on Polygon, Solidity will again be useful to you. So Solidity is a language that would be very useful if you are building on, uh, on chains that are all EVM compatible. But EVM means is Ethereum virtual machine, which computes the contracts for us. We'll try and explain EVM in detail in further uh, videos. For now, we'll restrict our focus just to the prerequisites uh, of uh, getting started on Ethereum. For all these prerequisites, we already have made some courses for you on miningdevs.com. There is a coupon code in the in the description of this video where, where, uh, using what you can avail free courses on miningdesk.com. Please go ahead, check it out and start learning. Also subscribe to the channel for latest updates. We'll be sharing a video on Solidity very soon where you can uh, get started on building your own smart contracts. Thank you.